What's up everybody, Scott D. Gregorio here, your mortgage guy coming in with a very exciting episode of Financial Chaos. It is starting to get real out there, people. Look, I got a lot of crap that's, that I'm gonna go over today, but I am hearing more and more people talking about the housing crash. I've been saying this crap for years. It's not going to crash, the technicals prevent it, but I am here to share with you some data to actually support that. So, um, there's a lot to go over, so hang tight. I've marked my words, this is going to be a good month. And what I mean by that is, this is gonna really start shaking things loose. There is a mountain of pent up demand. Okay, 44% of Americans uh, between, I'm sorry, 52% of Americans between the age of 18 and 34 are still living home with mom and dad, move the hell out. Um, there's tons of sellers that want the rates to come down in order for them to feel comfortable leaving their current three or 4% rate and on and on. So let's dive into it. Okay, so the JOLTS report came out. The JOLTS report is the job openings and labor turnover report. And basically it gives a feel for the activity in the labor market, right? Like <clears throat> if people are constantly leaving and going to other jobs, that would signify that there's a shortage of workers, there's a lot of kind of turnover and things like that. Uh, those are the types of things I look at. So um, it came in at 7.7 .7 million. This is down 6% from a year ago. This is absolutely huge. Also, job openings are down 12.5% year over year. So this is a really, uh, this is big data, right? This is all, and I've been saying all along, we need to show weakness in the labor markets in order for the Fed to start cutting rates. I've said that, the Fed has said that, everybody has said that, okay? So uh, let's look at some more numbers in this report. Number one, hiring is currently at 3.5%. So 3.5% of the companies are looking to hire people. Guys, to put this in perspective, during the heart of COVID, we were at 3.1. This is a huge, huge drop, okay? And the number of people that are out looking for jobs. Also, Friday, we have a huge, um, the, the BLS jobs report for this month is coming out. Everybody's spe speculating as to whether or not the Fed's gonna drop rates 25 basis points to 50 basis points. And mark my words, everything has to do with what is gonna happen Friday. Okay, they are expecting a um, hundred and what is it? 160,000 people. They just lowered it from yesterday when it was at 165. So what are we looking for to move rates down? Numbers to be at or ideally worse than that, okay? Um, another thing that happened is the 10 year treasury, which doesn't directly correlate to interest rates, but it does indirectly, is below this 380 level. And folks, you could watch the 10 year, the, the mortgage backed security and things that I watch, you guys don't have access to as the public, but uh, the 10 year you do. If we could keep that 10 year below that 380 mark for a sustained period, this is a huge, huge sign for us, okay? Now, the other report that came out that's really big is the ICE report, okay? And this is just an analysis of the mortgage industry. And check this out. Home, app, uh, home prices are up 3.6% year over year, okay? And I understand that here in Southwest Florida, that's a national number. Home prices are sitting longer and there's more price cuts and everything else. But mark my words, Southwest Florida will show a positive year over year appreciation rate when we look back on this, okay? And here's a big thing. Refinance applications are up 94% from this time last year. 94% from this time last year, check it out. Where rates are today, it would make sense for approximately two and a half million people to do a refinance. If we could get rates down to a flat 6%, we go up to 4.7 million people. That would be interesting. And check this out. If we could get rates down to five and a half, and personally, I think five and a half to 6% is probably where we're gonna be. Um, that would mean 7.2 million Americans are going to be able to refinance. Another thing that's very interesting to know, affordability per this report has improved, okay? And and, I, and that makes sense, right? Home prices are stabilizing like a 3% annual appreciation rate is not exciting. Not exciting in the sense that it bumps people out of the market. It is normal, 3, 3 4%. Um, but as interest rates come down, obviously affordability improves with it. So affordability is approved. And for those people out there banging the drum that the housing market's gonna crash, foreclosures and delinquencies are still near historic lows. I have some very good friends of mine, people that I respect immensely that disagree with me. History will prove on us right, and that's cool. <clears throat> now, in light of this report, 
we went from a 25% chance of the Fed cutting rate 50 basis points, which is half a percent versus a quarter percent. We went from a 25% chance of that happening to now <clears throat> a 41% chance of that happening. Now, tomorrow we get the ADP report and then Friday the big BLS jobs report. Guys, we have to keep a close eye on these reports because what I firmly believe is going to happen is as rates come down, this pent up demand is going to pop and I really think the housing market's going to get very, very hot. Feel free to leave comments below as to why you disagree with me. I find those conversations super fun. Um, but all things are pointing to what, frankly, I've been hoping for since last May. I mean, this is certainly lingering a long time. I think the Fed has done a shit job of, um, of managing this. I've been saying this since way before they acknowledged that this was persistent um, inflation. But either way, and on the housing front, guys, nobody should buy a house and get a mortgage without using a buy down strategy. I got a contract accepted yesterday. The seller was able to contribute like $15,000 towards the buyer's closing costs. I was able to use that money to pay points and buy down his rate and get him into the low to mid 5% on the 30 year fixed rate mortgage. This is not like a temporary buy down, like that's his rate forever. And here's what I explained to him. Not only are you gonna save, it was about $260 a month. Not only are you going to save $206 a month, but good for you, bad for me, you probably also aren't going to refi. So maybe that saves you five dollars or $10,000, but even more so. Let's say you refinance a year from now. You're also eliminating losing a year of payments. So when I was done doing the calculations, he was going to be saving, I just did the math in my head, somewhere in the thirty-five dollars to $40,000 range by using this strategy. Guys, you need to be working with somebody who knows how to structure deals in this market and put yourself in the best long-term position as opposed to just slinging debt at you. And it's funny, the client called me up and he wasn't sure if he should do anything. And when I explained to him the financial benefit of getting that much credit from sellers, because it's not like every seller will do that. When I explained that to him, he was like, oh my goodness, I had no idea what the math was. guys." If you are working, if you're an agent or a consumer, you're working with, with a, a mortgage professional who is not explaining to these types of numbers, who is not as explaining to these types of strategies. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a call. You're working with the wrong people. There are so many things that we could be doing to really attack this affordability problem. And then as rates come down and home prices get pushed up, which again, go back to the 1940s, we've never had a period of time where those two things didn't happen simultaneously, um, then you are really going to benefit in a big, big, big way. You can get tomorrow's interest rate today and you can take advantage of that appreciation and the extra um, negotiating position that you have right now. So guys, so much to, uh, to talk about. I'm so excited. And uh, do me a favor, like I said, if you agree with me, leave me some love below. And if you don't agree with me, leave me some hate below. It's perfectly fine. I had a good conversation uh, last week with uh, with a buddy of mine who I've known a very long time. So that's what I got for you. I'm Scott DiGregorio, your mortgage guy. Give me a call. Share this video with everybody you know.